the challenge for us is how do you continue to be at the edge of your profession uh, because being at the edge is bound to create risk or beyond your comfort zone and still deliver reliably to your client and that's our challenge. We've been there before, we're consistently there, that's probably where we like being actually. I think it will be first about listening, about really understanding the exam question being set, about genuinely uh, uh, speculating on what is the art of the possible at the beginning of the project and then in the design process moving very quick and with real agility and intellectual speed to show the array of options. We should have exceeded our clients' expectations. We should have exceeded other design team members' expectations. And to do that, we often have to reach out beyond our own boundaries. I think in Europe, we don't do things just to the off-the-shelf solution. We always think of something. We always think in, in, in the position of the clients. We try to do something better. We won't just go back to the history and say, oh, this is how we did things in the past, and now we want to do the same thing. But in an ideal world, you get a building which, what it looks like is how it works, how it functions, how much material it's used, how fast it was to build. All of those things manifest themselves in one outcome. So the ideal building for me is one where the whole thing is an integrated piece where you can't say that's a piece of architecture supported by a piece of engineering, but that's a piece of combined architecture and engineering. I actually think that having certain restrictions inspires your creativity. If you have sort of endless resources to do whatever you want, you might get lost on the way by trying to strive in too many directions at the same time. I don't actually see any tension between a desire for quality and the need to be efficient. In fact, they work together. We need to take the things which we can do in a process fashion or at a transaction level and make them as efficient as possible so that we have more time to spend thinking and generating quality. Well, quality to me is the backbone of our, our business. Without quality, we won't be here. We won't be where we are today. So on one hand, we've got to maintain our, our efficiency and effectiveness, but whatever we do, we need to keep our quality to the best of what we can achieve. Not settling for the, uh, the norm, not settling for industry standard. That should be a minimum of what we're setting out to achieve. I think we should always look to persuade, push, cajole, beg, demand, inspire our clients to do something beyond that.